live this life, we're falling back in love again. We're smoking and we're sipping, we're doing it. What is going on, everybody? My name is Steven or Z Crowns Gaming here, and today I'm coming at you with my third episode of Road to Division 1. NHL 14 Hockey Ultimate Team. So right here, I buy a Star of the Week, Tyler Sagan, for 80,000 coins, which I thought was a really good deal. And here, I have 307,000 coins, and I was deciding why either, either to get Bobby Ryan or Louis Erickson, and I decided to go with the Louis Erickson. The Bobby Ryan was way too expensive, and he only had like one or two, mainly one only above, like one stat above Erickson. And then I decided to get... Jerome again, the, the kind of a okay. trader really going back to Boston after he decided to sign with Pittsburgh in uh, that whole mess. But whatever, he's on the Bruins now, which I like. And I also buy a Keith Ballard for 7k. So I just bought like four, I think it was, Star of the Week players, which was pretty crazy right here. So, and then right here, I'm just going to show you the team. So Louis Erickson, Tyler Sagan, Alexander Semin, Keith Ballard, Johnny Boychuk. And then I got Patrick Marlowe, Nazim Kadri, Voracek, Skinner. Le Cavier and Jerome, and then I got the young Star of the Week line there, and then I got all these defense. Pretty much the same except for Ballard. And I did switch Ekman Larson and Ballard through halfway through this episode. So here we go into the first game against a Montreal Canadiens fan, and Zim Kadri just comes down and rips one top shelf. Good goal right there to make it 1 nothing for us. And then we come down again, Jerome Aginla just shoots low, Le Cavier gets the rebound and pass it to Iginla and it kind of makes a weird bounce but whatever it counts it goes in and here we're in third period he comes down makes a nice move between the legs gets my goalie out of position to make it two to one with nine minutes left in the game so that was a pretty good goal there nothing I could really do my my team made a very bad change but under 30 seconds he gets a cross crease kind of goal there coming out from behind the net oh no and you guys are know what's gonna happen next under like two seconds left Oh my god, I had no idea how the heck that went in. That actually made me really mad. But anyways, we lose that game 3-2. Should have won that game. So here we are in the second game, and Sagan rips a shot on that, and it just bounces off Sagan's, or sorry, Simmons' knee to make it 1-0. And then Keith Ballard makes a nice little ballerine troll there, and it goes off another player, Cavier this time, to make it 2-0. And then this guy was getting frustrated, so he was just going for the big hits, and Bonnie Toychuk is set on a breakaway and to make it 3 to nothing. So here we are in the second period, Semin gets a backhand forehand, nice little goal there to make it 4 nothing. I'm just running away from this right now. And now it's 5-1, and look at that goal from Erickson. But the ref says no, and whoa, we're going upstairs on this one, boys. As you can see right here, he just, Le Cavier shoots, bam. And right there, I actually didn't, I, I, I did not think this was going to count. But you're going to see what happens in a few seconds. I personally did not think it was going to count, but you know what happens? It counts, baby. So there's Louis Erickson's first goal in the new team. He's also a really good player. If you have enough, if you have enough money, definitely pick him up. So here we are. We're going to win that game 8-1 against the guy with the Buffalo Sabres jerseys. I like those jerseys, actually. And Landon Scott got hurt that game. I almost got a 1000 bucks for winning. So he, we are in Division 7 now. I am pretty sure. So here we are in the third game in the episode, coming up against a guy with like a QMJHL jerseys, and he comes down and just rips on short side, first shot in the game on Victor Fast, and I did not like the way Victor Fast was playing lately. And then we win the face off, Dubojchuk up the seven, and he makes a nice move and just shoots it. Nice goal there by Semin, awesome player, he's so good in this game. I definitely pick him up, boys, definitely pick him up. So 1-1 one, one in third period, no scoring in second, and Voracek just comes down and rips one, baby. Top right, really nice goal there to make it 2-1. And 13 minutes left, not even like a minute later, he just comes down and snipes one through two to make it 2-2. Two to two. Good goal right there, and this was honestly one of the weirdest plays that's ever happened to me in NHL 14. It, it was like... I don't know, it was weird. So I poke it down, it goes all the way to his goalie. I don't know what happened, but he just passes right to me with a minute left. I don't know if he meant to do that, or if his goalie just personally did it, or accidentally did it. I don't know, but it counts. And here's Sagan coming with 22 seconds left, and he just rips it 5-hole, puts it away. And then, So, that is the end of the game. We went about 4-2, and we decided to buy a Mike Smith for 70k. Did not like the way Victor Fast was playing. So we buy the one, the Winnipeg one. So if you guys like what you guys see, 
please like, subscribe, comment, and I'm trying to get an all-star of the week team, or hut live, maybe it's what it's called, I have really no clue, but if, please like, subscribe, comment if you like what you see, and I'll see you guys next time.